Hello everyone, I am teaching 100 plus unique web application security issues in just 20 hours. With this course you can apply for security testing jobs or you can do bug bounty from home. Watch from lesson 0 guys, otherwise you will not be creative. Search in YouTube Uday Datrak bug bounty. This is a separate playlist to learn in 20 hours. Hey guys, today we will talk why we do the user enumeration. Why? Like you know. User enumeration is not identifying the first name or last name guys. Here the actual usernames which are used for the login guys. So if an attacker tries to find out usernames like 5 to 10, he can use the brute force for that usernames. So, right? If any user is having a weak password, then attacker can log in as that user. That is one thing guys. Second thing, if the attacker can find out the email addresses of the users like on the my profile page or after login into the application email addresses if the user can extract the email addresses if a user means if an attacker or if a texter can get the email addresses of all the users he can use the phishing attack on the victims and he can send the phishing mails to all those email address and steal the credential guys another approach is if the if the application is vulnerable to user enumeration and if an attacker can find out the phone numbers of all the users then it's still a security issue guys because attacker can send the virus to those phone numbers or else he can send the phishing link to those phone numbers if the victim thinks that it's from trust coming from trusted website because the attacker will use the sms proofing trick and he will try to attack the, those numbers too guys so that's the reason using user enumeration you should not be able to identify the valid usernames or phone numbers or email addresses within the application guys so if you could find out any of these things then it's a security issue that's it guys